relax, please. I'll get it. Jared? What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I decided I want Tess back. I need your advice on how to make that happen. <sighs> you want my help getting Teresa back? Yeah. Um, both Chad and Valerie told me that I should stay and fight for Tess, and I molded over and I realized that they were right. Okay, go on. So I went down and, and I talked to Tess. I, I told her that I realized I was a stupid, jealous hothead for breaking off our engagement while I still loved her. Way to go, man. Well, what did Teresa have to say to that? Well, she really didn't say much of anything, one way or the other. So I, I told her that I realized I made a huge mistake and I want her back. Jared, I'm sorry, but you can't have Teresa back. Why are you saying I can't be with Tess? Jared, come on, you said it yourself. You walked out on her. And, and it wasn't even the first time. So what, Whitney? Teresa bailed on him more than once and then begged him to take her back. Right on, man. Um, do you hear Miles? No. Do you mind checking on him anyway? Look, Jared, I don't care how many times you and Teresa have broken up and gotten back together again, this time it's different. This time, Teresa's trying to make a life with Ethan, and you can't just waltz back in here and try to take that away from her. You just can't. But I love Tess, and I know I could make her happy if you would just convince her to give me another chance. I can't, Jared. I just Whitney, can't. Whitney, Whitney, come on. Help the man out. I know that you love Teresa. I I'm not saying that. And yes, you guys could have been happy together. I, I fought for you, right? But now things have just changed, that's all. Now Teresa has a chance to have a life with Ethan and the kids like she's always wanted. But I want to be with her. And Tess and I could make a great family with Jane and little Ethan, too. Yeah, but it won't be the same, at least not for Teresa. Teresa wants a family with Ethan, the father of her children. <clears throat> well, wait a minute. The father of her children? I thought Julian was little Ethan's father. Isn't he? Is Julian Little Ethan's father or not? No, Jared. Well, I, I just meant that Ethan has been like a father to Little Ethan. That's all I meant. You know, if, if Teresa and Ethan got married, then Ethan would more than likely adopt him. I really doubt Julian would stand for that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. He probably wouldn't. But, you know, seeing as they, you know, would probably end up getting married, you know, Ethan would take on a larger role in Little Ethan's life, no matter what. Well, I get along great with little Ethan, too. I know, Jared, I know. It's... Teresa wants to be with Ethan. Even when I'm the best man for her. Maybe if things were different, you would be. But, Jared, the situation is what it is. Teresa loves Ethan, and she wants to be with him. And if I know her, she's doing everything she can to make sure that that happens. Thanks for at least hearing me out. And, um, sorry I interrupted your evening. No sweat. Jared, I'm really sorry I can't help you try to get Teresa back. Okay, but even if I tried, I'm telling you it wouldn't do any good. Because Ethan's the love of Teresa's life. And there's no way she's not going to jump at the chance to be with him right now. Well, I'm still not giving up on her. I'm going to stand. I'm going to fight for Tess. She'll be mine. You'll see.